It was one of the most stressful and traumatizing experiences I've ever had. So I'm at the airport in Seoul, South Korea right now. The moment I landed, uh, we had to go through the quarantine checkup. And um, I think the bar to um, separate people from the group was 37.5 degrees Celsius of fever. And I got exactly 37.5. So I came to Seoul to work from here and get out of um, Hong Kong for a bit. Um, I did not expect this, so I'm a little taken aback. We're being taken away now. I'm with another girl from Hong Kong. And, um, hi! <laughs> So there are three floors of separation rooms from what I can see here. Because she doesn't speak Korean, I'm gonna be a translator and put it for her. <laughs> Oh. You gotta start coughing really hard until like you have to cough something in there. Yeah, I know. It's really oh, okay. <laughs> so, how do you feel, Irma? Uh, So Irma was traveling to South Korea from Hong Kong with her mom, but now she's obviously separated. <laughs> so how do you feel? How's your mom reacting? Um, my mom thinks well because she didn't know. So it's okay. Yeah, but we have our each other's number now, so we'll check on each other. Yeah. Well, see you. Hopefully, bye if bye. you have, you don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, bye air, bye. air five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, you can't come out of your room. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, bye. Bye, bye. Irma. Bye. So, let me give you a room tour now. There's a fridge. Oh, uh, yeah. Blanket and really comfortable looking pillow. Fresh new bed. And the chair to sit down and think about my life choices, I guess. And uh, there's a full body length mirror. Because, you know, you want to look pretty when you're in quarantine, right? Five minutes of trying to cough. Still nothing in there. Look at this beautiful bento box. This is much nicer than what I was planning on having for dinner, so I'm happy. The doctor just came to take some samples from me just now. Um, it happened so quickly that I could take a video, but he basically took a very long, then little looking thing. We have a little cotton bud at the end. Um, so it's still deep in my nostril that I was like, mm -hmm. and then I'm just in my eyes. So cross, there's nothing I can do at this point, so I'm just going to go to bed and go for the next day. So it's about 7.49 a.m. right now on Thursday. I just got my breakfast delivered. This looks more like a dessert than breakfast. It's 12 o'clock right now, so I have at least two to three more hours to find out what's happening with me. This waiting is just killing me. I just got a really happy new confirmation from the doctor that my test results came back negative. And they gave me a certificate that I don't have coronavirus. I'm gonna frame this when I go home. So another great news is that Irma, the Hong Kong girl that I befriended yesterday, is also free to go home uh, and reunite with her mom. Yeah, I can see my room from here. We all just got out of the car. We're back at the airport. I'm waiting for my bus to go to my parents' apartment in Seoul. <laughs> in a way, I'm glad that this happened because now I know that I'm officially clear. The worst fear I had though, which made me really understand um, what these coronavirus patients must be feeling these days, is that there's such a stigma around it. 
the fact that if the test results came out positive, I would have had to tell all my friends, family, and colleagues, and that would have changed my life forever.